YouTube family. It's the fire pilot. That's right. The guy who makes YouTube and TikTok videos about aviation on YouTube and TikTok. I have something to show you today. I want to show you the Aspen 2000 Pro Max. Do a little bit of uh, product training here. We fly the Aspen 2000 Pro Max, and we hope to add the 2500 Max at some point in the future. The difference between the two is two screens versus three screens. I want to uh, give you guys a heads up here on uh, what uh, what we fly behind. The 2000 Pro Max is a beauty of a piece of equipment. We have the primary flight display here and the multifunction display here. The setup that we frequently use is as what you see it, Synthetic Vision 2. You have a couple of options here. No synthetic vision. Synthetic vision one, which shows you the entire screen uh, with uh, synthetic vision from top to bottom. Or frequently, let me kind of get it back in there, or frequently we fly in that setup. Synthetic vision two. Synthetic vision two is basically your synthetic vision is up on top, which your DG is all nice and clean right there um, uh, underneath it. I frequently fly in that manner. A lot of information. I've got the uh, heading and distance to my destination, Romeo Golf Alpha. Let me zoom in there so you guys can see that. I've got one heading of 192 and a distance of 40 miles. It says I'm supposed to be there in 12 minutes. My heading is coming from my GPS source one. I'm on a course of 192, but I'm pointed to a one. Also shows your traffic on here in which you can um, you can come out and, and zoom in or out on uh, your uh, distance that you want to be looking at. Um, it will show you that the regional uh, weather is two minutes old and it's currently showing traffic. Of course, it's gotten a little bumpier now. So uh, in addition to that, you can also see your weather. All outside air uh, temperature here, 13 degrees Celsius. I have the other one locked in um, Fahrenheit, so I have two gauges. I've got a, a wind right now, uh, 296 at 25, direct crosswind essentially. True airspeed, truing out at 192, ground speed 195. And of course, up here on the tape, 175 on your indicated airspeed, altitude roughly 5,600 right now. And then, uh, you know, this is your uh, your attitude indicator and, uh, and, and so forth. So you got your flight director up there, it's real nice. Coming over to the multifunction display, this is, of course, a map. So the way I can explain the multifunction display is that you have three different screens that can include one, two, or three pieces of information. This, I have one piece of information. I could quickly move that to uh, two pieces of information. And then I have three pieces of information. Now the beauty about that is that every one on all screens of those of the pieces of information that we're talking about here is customizable. Here is my angle of attack. There is my traffic uh, on uh, UNR, so uh, unrestricted. And then down here is my moving map. So if I come back and I go to single screen, I go and I, I want to change that information. There's my charts, and you can again customize each piece of this multifunction display to whatever it is you want. Whether you want uh, another attitude indicator here with airspeed and altitude, whether you want over here you want a uh, a terrain, whether angle of attack. All of this is completely customizable. And then coming down here, you can have an angle of attack, a terrain, traffic, weather. Synthetic vision, which is really nice to have it on an uncluttered screen like that. And then some timers. I've used these timers a lot to remind me to switch back over to my main tanks. Because there's no other timer uh, related. You can count, count up, count down, has a flight timer, and has a departure time from when you left your last airport. Super, I mean, the, the amount of information that you can add to this is just uh, truly amazing. Again, what I like, oftentimes fly if I'm just putting around is just this uh, this setup right here. Just my you know my attitude indicator, my my DG, and my moving map right here. Had I uh, had an, another third screen over here, I would probably use that to have a zoomed out moving map uh, so that I could see the big picture where this is more uh, a little closely related. Look, I, I know we talk a lot about the equipment on our plane. It's not that we're trying to show off. It's I'm trying to show you the absolute amazing uh, pieces of information that uh, having a, an integrated flight deck like what we've uh, tried to accomplish here achieves. Now, that's a lot of information. That's sometimes an overwhelming amount of information to, to some people. But uh, using it appropriately, when appropriate, and using it in the right manner 
can really make IFR flying a lot easier. And don't forget that you, stick and rudder skills and actually pilotage is the best skill that you could possibly have to keep yourself out of trouble and get yourself out of trouble to the best of your ability if by chance you do get yourself in it. But having a flight, integrated flight deck like the Aspens and uh, with the Avidines and a great engine monitor that's going to monitor all 12 cylinders or whatever cylinders that you have for the amount and for the type of flying that we do is, is integral to uh, our, our safety. Uh, we made the investments and uh, we partnered with uh, great companies like Aspen in order to uh, really achieve uh, this level of integrated on the flight deck or glass or whatever you have it. But don't forget, pilotage and uh, stick and rudder skills flying the aircraft doesn't beat any of that. It's always great to have a company that has your back when some of those things may fail. It's the Fire Pilot. I make TikTok and YouTube videos. Give us a follow here on YouTube, and uh, we hope to see you at Oshkosh here in a couple of days. Remember, aviation's about people. It's the Fire Pilot. Give us a follow. We'll see you later.